Hi everyone, we believe that there's an inventor in all of us. And to let that loose today, we are here at the San Jose Tech Museum, where we can have hands-on learning experience and in all the science and technology. So let's go in and see what's cooking. Hey guys, we are here inside the Tech Museum in a brand new space with Bridget. So Bridget, every time I come here, you guys surprise me with something new. So tell us about this new space. Well, the Tech Studio is our brand new space for prototyping, making, and learning. So um, we host workshops in this space where people can kind of get a, a deeper dive into the design process, get their hands on tools, and really practice the skills and develop the mindsets needed for innovation. We uh, rent out this space, or we invite others into this space to partner with us, um, like-minded, kind of maker-minded groups that want to come in and use this space for prototyping. Okay. Um, in addition, we use this space to prototype and design and build our museum exhibits. Okay. So we're currently in the middle of a, a major renovation of the whole museum, top to bottom, and this is where everything is going to happen. I know that you have a lot of local programs and you have a lot of international programs. Do, would any of those take place in this location? Well, we have a program we just started with uh, Make and Pixar. So this past weekend we had our first open Make. And um, for that program, it's happening once a month leading up to Maker Fair in May. We have a theme for each uh, month. This past one was robots. So we had uh, Spinbot robot workshops happening in the backspace here. Okay. We had Meet the Maker talks where we had um, robotics makers from the from industry, um, young makers, robotics uh, makers that work with kids, all coming together to give kind of TED-like talks and um, have a Q&A panel. And then finally, at the end of the day, we had robotic demos and our young maker program come and meet in this space. And that's um, that's a group that's working in a very dedicated way to design and build their projects for Maker Fair in May. And that's why we see the workstations and the tables and the lights and uh, these cables hanging around, is that right? Exactly. This space is really designed um, to create a space where other people can come and design and make things, prototype, really bring their ideas to reality. And is this space open to everybody who comes into the museum or is this just for the corporates? What is it? actually for. You know, this space is going to be part of the museum. We want people flowing in and out. One of the big things they'll get to do in this space is come while we're doing prototyping, they'll get to come and engage in the exhibit design process with us. So we'll get to try out our ideas on, on them, they'll get their hands on it, they'll give feedback, and based on what happens we'll redesign our next iteration and ultimately it'll lead into these amazing design challenge exhibits all over the lower level of the museum. So um, that's one thing they'll get to do in there. If they want to be part of a, a workshop like Open Make or part of something, we had Hack the Future in here last, last weekend, then those are scheduled, um, scheduled things that they have to pre-register for. So it's a combination of things. Seems like there's a lot of things that get into building something like this. And where do you get the funding from? Well, this is part of our um, larger museum campaign to really redesign the entire museum top to bottom, all centered around this design challenge learning, which is really based on the prototyping process, people getting their hands on things, trying things out, failing, learning from that failure, redesigning. After multiple iterations, amazing innovation happens. So we're really trying to change that, that idea that um, great innovation just pops into some genius person's head. And this is where people really get to see the true process of innovation and this is what's behind all the innovation in Silicon Valley. Hey guys, we are here at the Hackworth IMAX Dome Theater, the largest dome screen in the West Coast. So hi Michelle, what can you tell us about this theater here? So the IMAX Dome Theater is the only one of its kind here in Northern California. It's the largest screen west of the Mississippi. We're about 82 feet in diameter. Ranks us the second largest in the entire nation out of 24 dome theaters. We seat 280 people and we do around 225,000 people a year. Wow, and uh, what kind of movies play here? So we do primarily educational films as a charter institution for educational uh, learning. And then in the evenings, we like to bring in some Hollywood films, uh, Skyfall, The Hobbit, 
Harry Potter, uh, Dark Knight Rises, all those great films seen in the giant screen. So how does uh, the IMAX actually fit into the whole concept of a tech museum? So we call it uh, education entertainment. Uh, we take lessons learned in the classroom and put real life vision to them. So the kids can learn about and read about the Lewis Clark Diaries, and then they can come here and they can watch Lewis and Clark recreate their expedition on the giant screen. And because it's so immersive, they can really be part of that adventure and, and see things as Lewis and Clark would have seen years ago. So we take things in the museum and we take education and curriculum that our teachers are learning in the classroom and teaching, and we add that element to it of realism, of, of what it would really be like. We have Diego and Elijah. Hi, Diego. Hi. So tell me, are you here on a project? Have you come here before? Is this your first time? Tell me everything. Uh, this is my first time being here, and I'm excited to be here about learning about what's going on with our universe and stuff. Okay. And Elijah, did, is this your first time too? Yeah. So when you walked into the Tech Museum, did you? Uh, is this what you uh, envisioned it to be? Is this what it looked like in, in your dreams? Yeah, it did. It did? Okay, um, so what kind of, ex are you here for um, experimenting? Are you here for uh, learning? What are you here for? We're here to see, um, to see about the planets and like what they send up in there. Like the scientists want to know about them and like see what's going on. Okay. And what was the most exciting part of the Tech Museum so far for you? Um, that she could like make cars and planes and stuff. All right. Have you been to the IMAX Dome Theater here? No. Okay. Did you know it was the largest one here on the West Coast? No, I did not know that. Maybe we can watch a movie together tonight. <laughs> All right. Okay, I will. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Oh my goodness, guys, this is the place to be if you're in the valley and you have kids. Every kid needs brain stimulation and this is the best way to do it. And you need to come to the San Jose Tech Museum. I had a great time. Thank you.